Hi, today I have an impromptu unboxing of some plants I bought. I have all these already. I bought them as small cuttings and I liked them so much I wanted to get bigger versions of the plants. Truthfully, so that I could have mothers sooner to eventually sell. Um, Otherwise, it was just going to take a long time to have mothers, and I really like them, and so I just wanted nice, bigger ones for my collection. And so I went on a, I think it's called Hoya Haven BST Facebook group. I can put a link to that down below, and posted my, the plants that I was searching from, and a couple of people answered, and then I picked out the best person and worked out with, I think it's a her, I'll, hopefully it's a her, I'll say her. Um, and I got like five or six plants for a good price and then I wasn't going to do an unboxing. First of all, they weren't supposed to come for two more days and then they came today. It's a good thing I signed up for alerts. I was planning on going to, to the post office to pick them up, but luckily it's better weather today than it was going to be in two days. It's just raining, but it's warmer. It's warm as it's been all year, so I had that in my favor. Um, but once I opened the boxes, I was like, wait, this is the lady I was going to possibly buy plants from on Etsy and before I decided to check on the Facebook group first. So I thought it'd be good to do an unboxing so you can get a review of their plants and give you a tip that you, it helps you both out if you go to the Facebook group and buy from her or other people like her that maybe sell on Etsy, but they sell in the Facebook groups usually for less money because because um, they don't have all the overhead and you pay with PayPal goods and is it called goods and services so that you're both protected somewhat and that's like 2.99 percent I gave her um, the 2.99 percent so she would get the amount that she asked for okay so this it, I got so much and such big plants that they're in two boxes <laughs> Um, she packed them really well with insulation and heat wrap and a bunch of um, saran wrap and all that and I got to the point where I was about ready to open the plants I was like I better just stop and make a video so that's what I'm doing so this is the first box here's all the insulation and heat wrap and she has these cute little tags in here which is how I knew who she is I don't know if you can see them but these cute little polonieras on them so we're gonna, there's four plants in here. Well, there's the names. So we're gonna find out which ones of these, which plants these ones are. Let's see. There's still plenty more unboxing. She used a lot of saran wrap and paper and all that, which is a good thing. Other than for the environment, but I, I need something similar. Yeah, it's better to have your plants safe and secure. So in this box, I can tell you as I'm working on it, are the lacanose, well, maybe I'll wait and we'll find out together. <laughs> Dirt everywhere. Okay, this looks like the Hushkiliana Albo, which I've had some of. The leaves look a little wilty and sad, but I see that's just normal stress. I'm, do I need to bring it up closer? I'll, I don't need to take the bottom out. It looks really good though overall. has some nice sun stress. No! Ah! That one should be okay. It has plenty of packaging, right? Okay. Oh, my camera's up higher than normal. There you go. Isn't that pretty? The Hoya Hushkoliana Abo, which means it has the white on the outside. Okay, where do I put all these? I think I can put them on the table. Okay. I know my hair is crazy and all that, but it was less time, but what do you do? When plants come, you gotta get them in a box. Get them possibly watered and then Good humidity and lighting and all that to help them bounce back as soon as possible. So let's see. Let's 
see if we can figure out what this one is. You know, I might not be able to say for certainty what this one is. I'm pretty sure this is the Louisa Silver. <laughs> it's falling down a little bit. It's got to be, but I'm going to open the other one and I'll show them to you side by side and you'll know why it's a little hard to tell. I think I'd remember from the photos or something, but it was, you know, last week, so my brain's gone. Yeah, this has got to be the, oh, the poor shriveled leaves. I hope this is just, oh, they're so cold. There's a heat pack and insulation and everything. They're so limp. Well, there's a good chance it just needs a recovery period. Maybe what I will do is post a video in like a few days, like a week or something. Just a little um, update of how they did. That's probably a good idea. These are cold and kind of wrinkly. This one, that makes me sad. Hopefully it'll be fine. I mean, it's definitely not her fault. She definitely did everything on her end. Okay. So this is the, this one. Let's see. <laughs> you see that? This is the Louisa Silver, Lacunosa Louisa Silver. Lacunosa are my fave. And then this is the Lacunosa Mint Coin. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Okay, I don't know if you can tell the wreaths are, the leaves are a little shrivelly and stuff. It's supposed to be high 40s today, so it really should be okay. But you know, they did come from Virginia and who knows where else they've been. I knew that was the risk ordering this time of the year. Hopefully they'll be fine. I've been shipping all winter in fairly simply, similar packaging to her and knock on wood. Everything's been fine. I mean, I'm not very high volume, but still. It's normal to experience some stress, so. Oh, isn't this pretty? Oh, I really like this one. This is the <laughs> Lacunosa variegated. Isn't this so pretty? Yeah. I just love how small the leaves are and pointy and then variegated and then look how big it is. Mine, it's grown from a few leaves. It's grown five or something new leaves in like three months. So I have high hopes that this one will too. So this is probably my favorite one out of these four. Just from, based on the shape that the plant is in and what I originally liked and everything. Okay, so here's the heat mat. It's still warm, the heat pack. And paper. Oh, this one is an interesting, this one's really big because it's only, I think only one plant in here. I definitely already have this, but I've been wanting a nice big one. And she did something really cool with hers, which I'll, I need to do some more research, but it's not in a pot at all. Which you're like, how is that possible? <laughs> cardboard's a little wet on this one, probably because how it's not in a pot. Okay, but it is really pretty. Yes, I should show it to you guys and get it out of here. So I believe she sells these moss poles on her Etsy, which I was wondering where it came from. So all it is is a moss pole. That's it, with some methyldi growing on it. If you guys know how to say that better, let me know. I never know, is it methyldi or methyldi or methyld or, I don't know. They say Matilda, so maybe it's methyld. See how pretty that is on the moss pole? And it's got some nice splashing on it and stuff. I'm really excited. 
for this to grow out and see how it grows and everything. It's really cool how it's not in a pot at all. I can just put it anywhere really. It won't have to take up a lot of my shelf space or I can even put it horizontally. Okay, so that's all my plants for today. Oh, I put them to the side thinking you could see, but you can't. Let's see, I'll move the table over here. You still can't see them very well, but thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll give you an update you know, and like, like I said, a week or something when I know how these are pulling through, make sure that they're still good. Sometimes it's hard to tell even still in a week. Hi, I'm back with a follow-up from um, what I got last week in the plant hall, just showing you how it's doing amazing. Everything looks great. All the leaves that were limpy are now firm and doing great. I'm just going to show you each plant again so you can get a close-up and See if you like it. So first up is this Matilde on the pole. Oh, I'm gonna have to get way back here. If you wanna see all of it. And then give you a close up of some of those splashy leaves. We're dripping a little bit. If I can get the close up. There we go. Isn't that so pretty? Okay. Next up, we have the Hoya Lacunosa variegated. And it kind of just likes to fall down this pole. It kind of wants to just go down. Maybe I'll turn it around so you can see it down. See this pretty little part. This is definitely one of my favorite plants. There. You see that? And then, sorry, these like to fall over. I have to be really careful with them. The Hushkaliana Albo. So this one has the variegation on the outside. There we go. I really like this one. And it's really cool how it's going up the kind of trellis. I think it's probably a, um, a stake, like my husband used to put landscape fabric into the ground. And then this is the Hoya Lacunosa Silver. It's a really pretty silver, and the leaves are a little bit longer, as you can see. It's really nice. It doesn't look super silvery on the screen. That's kind of weird, but it's silvery. If you want a, a little bit more silver and a little bigger leaves, then you go with the Lacanosa Silver Mint Coin. Look at that thing. Isn't that nice? I really like this one can't decide which of these I like the most. I really like them all. They're all definitely in my favorites. That's why I bought them. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode.